you go. Welcome back to the football terrace, mate. A disappointing result tonight. We've, we've had a mixture of emotions on this show tonight. Some people kind of relax, some people really angry. How do you feel after that performance? I feel like I feel like I've been let down on. Uh, I don't celebrate Christmas, but I feel like how a kid would feel on Christmas if they got uh, they were looking forward to it. Then they get a present, and it's just like clothing and they're looking for a toy or something because we've been waiting three months for the Premier League to come back. And the first, the first two games have been let down for me because obviously one game is a draw and Arsenal lose to Man City. And I got to start off by saying Arsenal fans who constantly make fun of Shaka get, get to know he's our best midfielder. And you've seen it today. The man went out and our midfield did not look like a midfield. It, it was, you, you could walk through there. It was not a midfield. There was no, there was no, there was no creativity. There was nothing coming from the midfield. They, we couldn't even hold on to the possession. So when you make fun of Ozil, when you make fun of Shaka, you have to realize these managers have a reason why they play those players. And let me get to Arteta's decision making because Arteta said before the match, there's a reason why David Luiz is not playing. I have seen things over the past couple of weeks during training that made me not want to start him. Then when he's subbing on. You can tell that he's 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 not there. Like everyone in my house said, he's gonna get a red card, and I'm saying you're laughing. Stop stop trolling. But they had no reason to be trolling. If they if they if we were gambling people, we would have made money today. Because everyone in my house said David Luiz getting a red card. I don't know why. It's just it was in the air. And on top of that, when it comes to David Luiz, man, if 2020 was a defender, it would be David Luiz. Because this guy, he's just calamity the whole time. He's given away two red cards uh, off last-ditch tackles, double jeopardy both times, got sent off. He's definitely a Chelsea agent, but uh, honestly, man, David Luiz just gets on my nerves. I can't talk about that man anymore. I'm going to move on to Mustafi. See, uh, you know, uh, yeah, so, okay, but I haven't even spoke to no one else about that tonight. The Pepe not playing, Aubameyang on the, right, uh, on, on the left, Saka on the, the right made no sense. Bringing David Luiz into this game when you know he's a clown doesn't make sense. Starting Mustafi doesn't make sense. I, I can't... Und and that's why I look at this, and I think there's loads of individual problems here. But the person I put to blame for today's result, Soli Arteta, he made so many mistakes in his selection. It's unbelievable. You know what the worst thing is? It's a damning indictment when Socrates got injured, and we heard about it today and uh, before the game, that holding doesn't even make the bench. Chambers is still injured, but Holding's coming back from ACL injury from a year, when we faced you in uh, Man United away last season, I think. That's when he got injured. But since then, he it's been three managers, and he still hasn't gotten like a comfortable running of games since he's come back. So it's just going to show you it's an indictment on Holding. I don't want to hear about Eddie and Ketia being fouled and Mara's diving. Guys, let's not be deluded here. Let's try to be sensible. They beat us. We had nothing. Leno, put respect on Leno's name, people. If it wasn't for Leno, I don't want to hear... You know what happens? Leno makes a mistake against Chelsea. People only laugh at him about that. But when you watch games like today, Terry, you see why Arsenal fans say Leno's one of the best goalkeepers in the league. Because arguably, he's our man of the match almost every single game. And it's an indictment to the team and the performances yeah. that we've had that our goalkeeper is our best player we, uh, this whole season. Yeah. Forget about okay. Aubameyang. No, he 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 was brilliant tonight. Without him, you you were getting like you got beat and you got slapped anyway. Um, hang on one second. I want to read about Hawkeye. So, oh, look at this. So this is about Hawkeye's decision during Sheffield United. It says the seven cameras located in the stand around the goals um, were significantly. I don't know what that says. Significantly occluded the decision goalpost. Uh, Hawkeye unreservedly apologized for the Premier League, Sheffield United, and everyone affected by this incident. It was what. Blocked or whatever. Okay, maybe that was means. I don't even know. I don't even know. I've never even heard what that word means before. But basically, it wasn't working. Okay, wow, that's interesting. Well, do you know what I like about that though? They've, you know, they've come out and apologized. You know, when referees make mistakes, yeah, they're silent on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, but Sheffield United will feel robbed now, won't they? Like, imagine if they miss out on a Champions League place by two points or a point. Well, wasn't it? Wasn't it his own player who basically pushed him into the goal? Something like that. Yeah, I, I have to yeah. see it. Again, but um, yeah. yeah. Listen, mate. Getting back to the game, I'll say one more thing. Your final thoughts, mate. Go on. It goes to show you, you bought a 72 million pound defend, uh, attacking winger. You didn't bring him on. 
You brought an eight million pound center back. You didn't bring him on. You brought you bought uh you bought D- Danny Ceballos. You ca- he came off the bench. All that money you could have spent all that money on a Koulibaly, which totals seventy two million, eight million, another ten million. That's over a hundred. That's over a hundred million right there. If you would have calculated all that money, put it on Koulibaly, we wouldn't have these defensive issues. The club needs to stop being cheap and buy quality players and spend the money on quality players instead of buying seven or eight cheap options and one one. I don't know what Pepe is right now. Yeah, um, I, I don't know what's going on, but mate, listen, I appreciate you coming on and uh, and having your say, mate. We'll chat to you again. Take care. Respect. Listen, everyone who's tuned in tonight, we really do appreciate your support. Arsenal fans, you can clearly see how upset and how angry and frustrated they are uh, with their team's performance. And they should be. Arsenal fans should be upset. They should be frustrated because it was poor. It was very, very poor indeed. And Arteta has got to do something and and the club's got to do something because there's a golfing class between them and Man City. Some of their best players not on the pitch. Clowns still getting picked. Players out of position. And maybe just maybe it was an experiment. Maybe come the weekend, Arsenal beat Brighton. All is good in the world again. But as far as I'm concerned, as far as I can see, there's a hell of a long way for Arsenal to go um, to get things turned around. There really, really is. But listen, until next time, everybody take care of yourselves. Everybody, God bless. And we'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye.